This is uh, this is Pastor John and Sister Valerie, the pastors here at Calvary Church in Hong Kong, and overseeing the fellowship. And so, John, where are we? Well, we are the highest pond in Hong Kong. That's called the Peak. A beautiful view. You get to see the whole of right behind me is the Hong Kong Island, and if you look right further than that, that's Kowloon where Pastor Kelly and Esther Loki are staying. And uh, it's a beautiful, it's quite a nice day today to have a clear view from here. And it's a beautiful place. And uh, you can see all the tall buildings. And right, uh, if you look at, uh, towards uh, your left, there's one of the tallest buildings that are being built right now. It's about going to be 110 story tall. That's it right there. And the top two, to the top 20 floors are going to be hotels. So it's wow. a great place to stay if you're coming here next time. So John, how many churches do you have out of your church? All right. In Hong Kong, we have uh, every Sunday, there's about uh, seven services on Sunday. And Saturday, we do have services and also Friday. And there are the Filipino churches over there. And also from here, we are in different nations too, in, uh, namely in Indonesia. And we have uh, churches over there in uh, Nepal. We have about three, four churches in Nepal. And in Philippines, there are about a dozen over there in the Philippines. And also we are supporting work in uh, Israel and also in America. We have Pastor John uh, McGovern yes. right there. And also we have uh, London uh, Woking, England, uh, Richard Hill. Yes. So in all the different nations. And uh, currently, right now, we are working on starting our church over at uh, Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, where my wife is from, actually. And we do have one of the brothers uh, from our church. And he and his family will be going there later this year. So looking forward for that and one nation at a time amen for Jesus one thing I've noticed about your churches here in Hong Kong all the different nationalities so right. how many nations do you think are represented in your churches well at any setting any setting of our, uh, the church meetings we have about 20 to 25 nationalities easily and we have well over 70 different nationalities passed through our doors over the years seven zero that is you know why don't you just name some of the nations that come to your well, mind we have anywhere from uh, well, I'll just start with from America all the way to uh, Asia, Australia. anywhere, Australia to uh, Thai, to France, Jap France, France Malaysia, uh, Malaysia, Eritrea, Singapore, Uganda, Uganda, yeah. uh, pretty much everywhere India. in the world. India. Even last night, uh, uh, when I ministered over at Kevin's, we had a lady from Pakistan. Pakistan. A Muslim came up for prayer. Yeah. Sri Lanka. You know, Nepalese. We do have a lot of. We have Nepalese church here too, and we also have a. A, a Sri Lankan church uh, right here in Hong Kong so it's a very diversified and great opportunity to get into all these different nations so we're excited about that. Any uh, greeting you'd like to give to the church in America Kansas City Praise Chapel? Well we want to say thank you so much for sending your pastors over I know they've got so much going on at home but to come out like this it's, I know it's a great sacrifice for them and for the church but you know what, we want to, we do appreciate you and the relationship that we have with you guys. And uh, tr tremendously, we are just midweek right now with them and already hear tremendous reports and there's a lot more meetings to go. It's just not meetings. It's just people are coming with all their heart, expecting for great things to happen. Thank you guys for sending your pastors and we love them and I know you guys love them too. Keep supporting them and I believe in a great things. Your best is yet to come in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> whoever reads let them understand then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains let them who is on the housetop not go down and take anything out of his house and let him who is in the field not go back for his clothes but woe to those who are pregnant and those who are nursing uh, babes in those days pray that your flight may not be in the winter or the Sabbath for then there will be a great tribulation such not as since the beginning of the world until this time nor shall ever be and unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened. Then if anyone says to you, look, here is the Christ, or there, do not believe it. For false Christ will not give light. And the stars will fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven. And then all the tribes of the earth with a great sound of a trumpet and... Uh, they will gather together his elect from the four winds who wrote two-thirds of the New Testament speaking about what the world's going to look like in the last days. Okay? He's writing to the church. The epistles are not written to the world. They're written to the church. Mm -hmm. This is a reflection of... He says, Know this, that in the last days perilous times will come. That word perilous times in the Greek means hard to bear.
Hi, my name is Andy. All I gotta say is that you rock and we love the message. Yeah. Hi, greetings, uh, Kansas. Uh, this is Raymond, uh, the uh, youth ministry pastor. Um, would you just like to say that we are really blessed by Pastor Kelly and uh, Esther. So you guys have one of the best pastors in the world. This is my wife too. We are from Beverly Youth, and uh, bless you guys. And uh, yeah, see you later. Thank you for the time, Pastor Kelly and Esther. Hello. Uh, we have Sally and Annie, and uh, we are from Calgary. And we are so blessed to have Pastor Kelly and Esther. And uh, we are just very thankful to us. Hi, I'm Annie. Uh, we were really blessed with uh, Esther's uh, ladies meeting that we had. It was a simple message, but uh, very powerful. We were really blessed to have her with us. Hi, my name is Maria. I'm living in Hong Kong. We've just been so blessed having Pastor Kelly here. We've loved it. Thank you so much for giving us him, giving us him your time. Thank you. Hi, guys. I'm Helen, and I really want to thank you for sending Pastor Kelly over here to Hong Kong. Just so blessed by his message. You guys are lucky. Blessed. Sorry. <laughs> Yo, I'm from Hong Kong and I'm half African and half Hong Kong. And so listen, everything is great. Pastor is really good. He preaches about the best things and listen to him, make your heart straight, live right for God, do it accurately, and you know you're going to heaven. So be prepared and let's do it all we can. Let's do all we can to fulfill everything that we are called to do. This is hope for God. Hope for God and peace from Ghana. Hello, my name is Pastor Neil Thomas. I'm the assistant pastor of Calvary Church and drinking my masala tea. We're a very multicultural church. This is my wife, Diana. I want to say what a blessing it has been to have you send your pastors to just enhance our life and, and teach us about the end times. Our life will never be the same again. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Thank you for sending Esther. We love her. And of course, Pastor Kelly is awesome. So thank you so much. Hello, I'm Nathalie, and uh, this is 22nd Friday, May 2009, and it's been a great blessing to have uh, Pastor Kelly and uh, his wife here with us. And God bless them. Thank you. I'm Pastor Yedu, and I'm a Filipino pastor. I'm thankful. And blessed, very blessed for the visit of Pastor Kaylee and Mr. Lord. Thank you very much for their coming. May the Lord bless them and bless them. their church in Kansas City. Hi, I'm Roy from Calvary Church, Hong Kong. We are so blessed to have Pastor Kelly in Hong Kong. This message has really made an impact on our lives. Uh, greetings to Calvary, uh, Praise Chapel, Kansas City. Hi, my name is Roby Porteous and um, I am just one of the many who are so blessed with Pastors Kelly and Esther Larkey. Um, they are such a blessing with all their teachings and the music of uh, Pastor Esther. And as you can see, we're really beaming and so happy to have them. And, and uh, you're so blessed to have them in your church. Bye. Hi everybody in Kansas, this is Pastor Trevor and this is my wife, Samantha. we are the pastor of uh, Calvary Church in Tunmun and it's exciting of the great things that God is doing in this place, of, in this nation of Hong Kong and uh, I just want to tell you that God has a beautiful plan for your life and we just want to say thank you so much for sharing Pastor Kelly and Esther with us, they've been such a blessing, such a tremendous blessing in the messages, the words that we've spoken, we're just so encouraged and uh, we just want to tell you, you've got a great man of God. Amen. And uh, bless you all. We love you. Thank you, Kansas, for sharing your pastors. We love them. It's, their time here with us is beautiful and it's short. And please send them back once more time so we can have them again. And thank you so much. We're blessed by them. Amen. Bless you. Okay, go. This is uh, Bruce Lee. <laughs> Woo! Hey. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Hey. <laughs>